everyone, it's Michelle from Scrap Secrets and I wanted to show you real quick the card that I need today. Um, it uses very few supplies. The supplies that I did use are a set of stencils, um, some Simon Says Stamp exclusive stamp sets, a couple of colors of Distress Ink, and a Martha Stewart punch. So the first thing I did was go through my stencils and find one that I liked. So I have a bunch from the Crafters Workshop and this is a 12 by 12 distressed diamond pattern one that I found. They also make some 6 by 6s I've used these on the background of some cards and are really cute. Um, just wanted to show you the difference in size. So these are generally for scrapbooking and the other ones are for card making but doesn't necessarily have to be. So after I picked up the stencil I went to my distress inks and picked out some colors. So before I was obsessed with pinks and purples together, and now it's reds and oranges. So the four colors of Distress Ink that I picked were Spiced Marmalade, Rusty Hinge, Barn Door, and Fired Brick. So after I got my colors and my ink uh, blending tools, I took a four by five and a half inch white card base and I put a loop of washi tape on the back of it and stuck it down to my craft mat. And then I put the stencil over top of it and put some washi tape down to hold it into place. Then I took from the lightest to the darkest color, so I started with Spice Marmalade and used my ink blending tool. And you don't have to dab it down, I kind of just went like this. You don't have to do the circular motion and start off the sides um, like you do when you're doing a whole background. So I started with the Spice Marmalade, went to the Rusty Hinge, then I went to Barn Door, and then I went to the Fired Brick. So then I took the stencil off of it and saw the background pattern. So there was this space here that kind of looked a little funny. If you didn't see the stencil, you wouldn't have known, you would think that I messed up here. So what I wanted to do was use that empty space for sentiment. So I went through my stamps and this Simon Says Stamp Square Sayings 4 by 5 and 3 quarters clear stamp set had a bunch of sentiments on it and I used this one, Hello There. Mounted that onto an acrylic block and used some of the barn door and stamped it on my card. So after that I realized that the bottom of the card looked a little plain so I went through my punches to see if I had anything that could just be a little embellishment on the front of the card because I, again I wanted to keep this really simple. So I found this Martha Stewart butterfly punch which I'm actually finding that I use a lot more than I thought I would. So I took a piece of white cardstock, punched out the butterfly, and then took the two colors of the orange Distress Ink and inked up the butterfly. Flipped up the butterfly's wings a little bit, and then just used my Zig 2A pen on the body and stuck that down and left the wings up so that it could be a little bit dimensional. So that's all there was to the card. It's very simple to put together, and there it is. So the inside is blank, like most of the other ones. Um, just wanted to show it to you guys. So I wanted to say thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!